My name is Zoe Raymer. I'll be your MC for uh, the next three days. You'll be entirely and thoroughly sick of me by the time uh, this is all over with, but uh, I hope you'll uh, grant me some indulgences and let me uh, try and keep us on track. I'll tell you a little bit more about myself later. Um, I want to welcome you, though, to the Northern Governance Conference. Um, and the theme is learning from one another. And uh, I think I want to encourage you right off the start to, uh, to practice that in uh, all of your undertakings uh, here. By the way, I'm standing on a, some kind of milk crate thing. <laughs> Pretty sure it's against every um, occupational safety and health rule ever. Um, but if I didn't, all you'd see is from here up. And while I did get my hair cut, it's not all that attractive. Um, I look like a Muppet. Um, the conference theme is learning from one another. So uh, indeed, do take the time uh, to meet and network. You can see we've got a casual, comfy uh, environment here. Uh, and that truly is the, the idea. The conference partners, uh, just uh, to take a brief moment to acknowledge them. Uh, the IPAC Regional Group, uh, the Institute of Public Administration of Canada, uh, the uh, Government of Canada, uh, Indigenous and Northern Affairs Canada, uh, now known as, I, I worked for them for 21 years and had f four different names, I think, uh, for that department, the Clicho Government, um, and the Johnson uh, Shoyama Graduate School of Public Policy. So uh, thank you to those partners and uh, welcome again to the conference. Um, I want to uh, begin uh, by inviting uh, Chief Edward Sangris and the uh, data drummers to come forward to uh, provide uh, welcome remarks and uh, a prayer.
Okay, now I'm not standing on the, uh, the hazard. Uh, Muppet or not Muppet? Not, good from there. Yeah, great, thanks. Sideways is not half bad. Front, it's a little bit like a podium with a head. Um, it's my pleasure now to, uh, to introduce to you. Oh, by the way, the, it, I should probably let you know that uh, the exits are in the rear. There are two exits to the outside on either side, washrooms uh, across the hall and down the hall. I've, okay, now I'm the airline attendant. Um, and uh, uh, I'll provide you with more information uh, like that. It's really kind of essential uh, as we go along. But uh, to start, uh, I want to uh, um, let you know that it's my pleasure to introduce this morning's keynote speaker. Um, Lou Siebert is the Minister of Justice, the Minister responsible for the Northwest Territories Power Corporation, Minister responsible for the Workers' Safety and Compensation Commission. I should never have stood on that thing. <laughs> and uh, Minister responsible for public engagement and uh, transparency. Uh, Minister Siebert was first elected to the 18th Assembly uh, of the Northwest Territories in November of 2015, so uh, not that long ago. Uh, and he represents the Tabacha constituency. Uh, prior to being uh, elected to the 18th Assembly, uh, Mr. Siebert spent 14 years uh, serving as a municipal councillor and deputy mayor for the town of Fort Smith. Uh, he has previous experience as a lawyer in private practice, and uh, he was also uh, a part-time instructor at Aurora College. Um, he has uh, a long history of volunteerism as well, the Fort uh, Smith Chamber of Commerce, the District Education Authority, uh, the Legion branch, and uh, I hear he's a tennis player as well. So uh, to offer the first serve and volley, I'd like to invite uh, Minister Siebert. Thank you. I have to move this up a bit, I think. Thank you. On behalf of uh, Premier Bob McLeod and the Government of the Northwest Territories, I'd like to welcome you to the Northern uh, Governments uh, Conference. I had the opportunity of meeting some of you last night, and I'm pleased to see uh, so many more of you today. I'm also pleased to see so many people here with an interest in the long-term economic and social well-being of the people and government of the Northwest Territories. We live in 33 communities spread over a vast region. We share the territory with seven regional Aboriginal governments. We have our own mandates, priori priorities and interests unique to each of our groups. Sometimes our priorities align with each other and uh, sometimes it is more difficult to achieve uh, and find consensus on specific issues. We're proud that we lead the country in ongoing and formal engagement with regional Aboriginal governments. We are the only jurisdiction in Canada to have government-to-government -government relations with our Aboriginal governments and it is reflected in our activities and operations. Our government has long been committed to working effectively with our federal and Aboriginal partners to finalize Abog Aboriginal rights agreements. With several sets of negotiations, we've reached significant mild milestones during the last government. We have witnessed firsthand how partners working together can achieve great results. Those include passing the Delaney Final Self-Government Agreement Act, concluding an agreement in principle on land and resources with the Achodene Kui First Nation, the Inuvi Albert Self-Government Agreement in principle, as well as the Northwest Territory Métis Nation Agreement in principle on land and resources. We still have much to do, and as we start the 18th Assembly, we are focused on building on the successes of the 17th, including settling the four remaining land claims, Settling these land claims will be an important part in strengthening the economy of the Northwest Territories. We hear from business all the time that they look for certainty, and part of that can be achieved by settling outstanding claims. We're committed to a collaborative decision-making and engagement with our Aboriginal governments and partners. This commitment was underscored in the last government, which released the Aboriginal Engagement Strategy Respect, Recognition, Responsibility, excuse me, which sets out several principles of engagement that our government is committed to. We recognize and affirm the Aboriginal and treaty rights of Canada's Aboriginal peoples in, as a first principle. We recognize also the inherent right to self-government 
as set out under Section 35 of the Constitution Act of 1982. We commit to building mutually respectful government-to-government -government relationships. We recognize all existing Aboriginal right agreements and commit using them as a basis for engagement with our Aboriginal governments. We respect the diverse government structures of the Northwest Territories' Aboriginal governments. It's not a cookie cutter, one size does not fit all. And we will be open in, in engaging with the different governments and communities that exist within each of the seven regions. We are also committed to building responsible and accountable government-to-government -government relationships that are responsible and flexible. We need to ensure stewardship over land, water, and air, and we also need to ensure social stewardship. The GNWT is committed to working with our Aboriginal communities and governments to address the Truth and Reconciliation Commission report. The GNWT's response to the report highlights where we lead the nation in program and service delivery that supports and empowers our people towards a uh, path of healing. However, there is the need for us to do better, and we are committed to achieving this. It is imperative to the success of the Northwest Territories and all of its people, socially, culturally, economically, that reconciliation takes place. No one is immune to the impact of our shared history, nor should anyone be left out of our shared future. Reconciliation is about building a nation where mutual respect between Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal peoples exist. In order to this, for this to happen, there must be recognition and acceptance of the past, acknowledgement of harm inflicted, atonement for the causes of that harm, and action to achieve change. We are determined to create conditions for success that work to the benefit of all Northern Northwest Territories residents. We are actively negotiating and settling land claims and creating certainty of rights and process for Aboriginal people. I'm not going to stand here today and say that we have all the answers. We don't. The evolution of governments in the Northwest Territories is very much a work in progress. We will continue to look for new and innovative approaches that will help us build strong, a strong and prosperous future for all of our people. I hope your discussions are productive. Uh, I wish I could stick around, but this is session, and I will have to go back to the assembly. And. Um, I'd just like to uh, thank you all for being here. It's very important what you are doing. I understand this is not an annual event, but uh, I'm sure you will have success. This is an important day in politics, and on uh, Super Tuesday, I wish you a great week. Thank you. <laughs>